What's going on guys? Quick Tip Tuesday. So today we're talking a little bit more about how to increase the gain of a microphone into DaVinci Resolve. So what, what does that mean? What am I talking about? Recently we talked about how to get set up to do a voiceover in Resolve and record directly into Resolve. So link up here if you want to check that out. But what if you have a microphone like this one that doesn't allow me to change the input or the gain levels of my microphone coming into your computer? Now you can use your computer settings, but let's say maybe that doesn't do a good enough job, right? Maybe you have a microphone like this one where it doesn't have a gain on it. It's got a little volume here, but that's only for headphones if you're wearing headphones that are uh, you know, plugged into the microphone. Well, in Resolve, we can use something called the path settings to take a microphone that's on a particular track that we're recording to, and you can boost that gain up or boost the input signal. So then you've got something decent to work with here in Resolve. So let's jump into Resolve and we're gonna check this out. All right, so we're in DaVinci Resolve here. I'm in the Fairlight tab. If you're not there yet, click on the little musical notes at the bottom, that'll get you in the Fairlight. Now I'm assuming that you've already got your microphone patched into Resolve. If you don't know how to do that, check out that voiceover video. I show you how to do all that, get everything set up to record directly into Resolve. But for this case, we're just talking about these path settings to boost our gain or input levels of our microphone. So in order to do that, we've already got our microphone patched to the channel. We're in Fairlight here. You wanna come over to your mixer. If you don't see your mixer, click on this guy right here. Next, you wanna look at your input right here. If you don't see the input, click on these three little dots right here. Make sure you've got input checked on, and then you should see it. Go to the track that you're working with. In this case, I'm recording to track two, audio track two. So I'm looking under A2 here, and we have this right here. Now, this is my microphone that's patched into the channel. Click on that, and we've got several options right here. The one we want to choose is path settings. Go ahead and click on that. Once you do that, it's going to bring up this window right here, and the only section we're going to be taking a look at right now is the record level. So in here, we've got a few things going on. We've got a record button. So when I hit that, that's going to arm our track to record. So if you see over here on our track two, the R is lit up. And if I uncheck it, the R is not lit up. That's arming our track to record. Don't worry about that. If you're recording, obviously it's probably going to be on already, but if not, that's fine. You can turn it on in the track too. Through, Through you don't have to worry about that. We're not talking about that right now. Don't worry about it. The dial here is how we can boost our input levels. So say you already adjusted on the computer and you just need to get a little bit more out of your microphone. Well, if you come here, you can grab you know, this dial, click and hold and drag to the right or the left. So if you drag to the right, that's gonna boost your levels. And at the same time, if your microphone is too hot, you can't turn it down enough, you can come right here and resolve and you can decrease the gain or the input volume. You can think of it as volume. Uh, in, in audio stuff, we call it gain, but it decrease that gain of your signal coming from your microphone. So I do have two examples that we can take a look at here to show you how the gain works. So the first example you'll see here is how I typically set it when I'm recording. And this is gonna give me good levels to work with in Resolve. The second example is gonna show you what it sounds like when my input levels are too low, right? I don't have enough gain on my microphone. So I'm gonna use my audio interface, turn down the gain, and then we're gonna record with the boom mic. And then I'm gonna show you how the record level works. I'm gonna crank that record level up and you'll see we'll gain you know, about 10 dB through using the record level knob here. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll those two examples and you can see how they work. All right, so we're recording here in DaVinci Resolve. Take a look at the levels. This is where I normally set my audio interface as far as the input levels for my boom mic, which is up here. You can see we're getting up to that about minus 10 dB or so. That's where I wanna keep it. Now, let me turn down the audio interface I'm going to show you how these path settings can boost up our gain. One second. So I adjusted my microphone levels. Now our levels coming into Resolve are very low. We want to boost them up. Let's go ahead and open our path settings. We're going to come here, path settings, my record level right here. I'm going to boost that all the way up. And you can see now it brings us up to about minus 15 dB, which is enough for us to work with. Once we get into Resolve, we can boost up our levels a little more so we get what we want, about that minus 8 to minus 10 dB range. So pretty sure you saw a difference there. Now, the other thing we can do, being that we're right here uh, in Fairlight, if I go ahead and actually turn my track on to record, and let's, uh, i got to change my input monitor style so that uh, now we can see the meters moving. So now we can see the meters are moving. They're coming up to about you know 10 dB there, which is what I typically use for recording. But let's say it's too hot. I need to back it down. I come in here, 
I can back it down. And now look, you know, it drops the levels way down. Obviously, this is too much. We wouldn't hear anything because we can see on our meters here, it's barely moving up. Likewise, if we crank it all the way up, now you can see we're running into the red. It's a little too hot, right? So you can see how that record level works and how you can make adjustments to it to affect the input level of your microphone. So you've got a few options when you're working with your audio and how to get the correct volume or gain or input levels, depending on how you want to look at it. You've got the microphone itself. Do you have a gain knob on there? Something like the Blue Yeti that I've got? It's got a gain knob on it. Are you using an audio interface? Typically on an audio interface, you're gonna have the ability to adjust your input levels or your gain. The next thing that you can check is on your computer. Go into your computer settings. You usually have a slider in there that's gonna allow you to raise or lower the input volume or gain of your microphone. Check that out. And the final thing that you can do if those other things aren't adjusting the input gain enough for you, you can go into Resolve here and use these path settings and they're gonna help fine tune that input level for you. Then you're gonna be able to get that audio into Resolve, make it sound sweet, because let's be honest, we all know that good audio makes a huge difference in your videos. If your audio stinks, nobody wants to watch your video, but you got some good audio, everybody's gonna wanna be in and checking out that video. So if you guys do wanna know how to make your audio sound even better, I've got plenty of videos that show you how to tune up your audio here in Resolve and Fairlight EQ, we've got Dynamics, You've got tons of great stuff here in Resolve that will really take your audio to the next level. With that said, I am wrapping this one up, and believe it or not, this is the second time I filmed this video. Like all good YouTubers, filmed this whole video once. One time it was all out of focus. Another time, didn't record. The button just didn't work. I don't know. Sometimes these things happen, right? The life of a YouTuber, right? Sometimes we just gotta redo stuff. And believe it or not, I checked stuff. I thought it was working, I checked it. But anyway, here we go. We filmed it again, we're good got the info out to you guys and uh yeah i guess that's about it for this one guys so i look forward to seeing you all in the next video peace